Hi everyone, I'm Nina Hunt and I'm the herbarium intern here at Royal Botanical Gardens. One of the plants that you might see along the trails here at RBG is garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is an invasive plant which is adapted to low light conditions and disturbed areas. So a lot of the times you'll see it along trails or roadsides and it's able to spread very rapidly. So it can spread up to 20 feet a year and then it will come to dominate those areas that it has um, established into. It's able to out all other plants around it, including native plants, and it does this by releasing compounds from its roots so that nothing else can grow around it. This means that it can invade the understory of forests or into undisturbed areas like the nature sanctuaries that we have here at RBG. So today we're going to talk about how to identify this plant and what you can do to prevent its spread throughout our So one of the best ways to identify garlic mustard is by its leaves. Garlic mustard is a biennial plant, which means that it has a two-year life cycle. And in its first year, it has these low-growing, heart-shaped leaves. These heart-shaped leaves have teeth all along the edges that you can see there. And if you rub the leaves, they have a garlicky smell. In their second year, they are much taller and they have a flower stalk. It still has these heart-shaped leaves that smell garlicky, but it will also have a white flower that blooms between April and June. These flowers have four petals and they form a cross shape. The first record of garlic mustard at RPG was in 1956. It was recorded by one of our first ecologists along the south shore of Coot's Paradise and it was also found in Henry Valley. At this time, it was reported as not being very common, but as we know now, it's spread a lot more. And this is because the seeds of garlic mustard can stay in the seed bank for up to 10 years. It also doesn't have any natural enemies, which means that it makes it spread a lot easier. One really good way that we can prevent the spread of garlic mustard throughout RBG is by staying on the trails. So the seeds of garlic mustard can get stuck in our boots, in our clothes, our hair, and even our pet's fur. And this will all make spreading a lot easier. And so if we stay on the trail and keep our dogs leashed, we can continue to enjoy nature at our for years.